Hi, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial by someone931. In this tutorial, I'm going to be introducing all of you guys to basic and simple classes. So classes are a very important part of C++ programming. Um, they are what um, identify C++ among many others like Java, C Sharp, and Visual Basic, just to name a few as an object-oriented programming language. An object-oriented programming language, like its name suggests, means a programming language based around classes and the objects that the class creates. So classes are very similar in many ways to structures. They're like blueprints uh, that you can use to create different objects. Um, like I said in the last tutorial, you can think of it as an address book with different fields in it so things like name, age, phone number, address, email address, stuff like that. Um, and then you can have different people, like different entries for different people. In each one you have the fields that you can fill out. So the people are sort of like the objects, the object that you create with the class. And then those fields that you fill in are sort of like the variables that are inside the class. So op open up um, a new project and then add a blank C++ file to it and uh, let's get started. So to declare a class, first you write class and then you give it a name just like everything else you do, just like structures, functions, and variables, and namespaces once you get to talking about those. So I'm going to name mine rectangle. So yeah, you can tell that it's going to be about rectangles and then put um, a curly brace. And then, right after this, we have something called the access specifier. So this is what controls who or what can see uh, or modify and access um, the different variables and stuff. You can have more than one access specifier in here. You can have um, one the set of variables as one and then the functions as another. Oh uh, yeah, and by the way, um, functions that are declared inside a class are known as methods. So there are three different access specifiers you could have in C++. Um, you can have private, public, and protected. Um, with private, um, with the private access specifier, um, only things inside the class can access it. With public, anything can access that. So if you had rectangle, and then you had private variable height um, then only then to set the height um, you would have to make a method inside this class called set height and set stuff and set the height so ours is going to be public just for the sake of simplicity and if you don't specify an access specifier um, the default will be used which is public so for rectangle we're going to have double length and double width so those are our variables. Now we're going to have something called a constructor. A constructor is a function or method um, that is executed when an object of the type rectangle is created. So um, unlike other functions and methods, um, a constructor does not have a data type. It's just the name of the um, class followed by two parentheses. So in here you can have arguments just like normal functions and methods, but we're not going to have any. So we're going to set height, no actually, no, sorry there's no height, length equals zero and width equals zero. So um, this initializes these two variables when it's, cr when an object of the type rectangle is created, it will initialize these two with the uh, value 0. Now we have something called a destructor. A destructor is the opposite of a constructor. It's, what ex it's the code that executes when the object is destroyed, which is after it is used for the last time in the program. So like the constructor, it doesn't have a data type. It, um, it's a tilde, which is the squiggly thing followed by the name of the class. So I'm going to be discussing uh, constructors and destructors in further detail later on, but this is just about basic classes, you know, just the concepts. Our destructor isn't going to do anything, so let's just close that. And so it's a 
rectangle uh, class. So we're going to have double set, uh, sorry, calc perim. So this is going to calculate the perimeter. We're not going to have any um, arguments or parameters, whatever you want to call them. Uh, because since it's inside the class, you can access these two variables without being passed in. So return uh, length plus length plus width plus width. So you just write these methods just like normal functions, except they're just inside the class. So let's make one to calculate the area. Calc area. Return um, length. So there is our class. Let's close this. And like a structure, after the closing curly brace, you put a semicolon. And then just like a structure, to make a new one, you just put the name of the class. So you can use this just like a data type, like double, int, bool, whatever. So you can just declare these like variables, just about. And then you have, let's name it R. So we can print out these. Um, so we can have the length. So you use, use these just like uh, structures. Um, they're just about the exact same, except you know the functions thing. Uh, so r dot length, and then we can print out the width. R dot width, um, and then we can calculate the perimeter. You just call these um, like you do any other um, method or function. So you just call um, the name of the variable, I mean object, sorry, just like these. And then you put calc perim followed by two parentheses, just like a normal function. And then we have area, r dot calc area, and that line as well. So let's try our program, let's try it out. So as you can see, our constructor has worked. Everything is zero. Length is zero. Width is zero. Everything is zero. So let's just start setting some of these values. Um, so r dot uh, width equals a um, three. R dot length equals nine. Okay, now let's just copy this down. Let's print that out again. So here you go. Length zero, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's our beginning. Now we've set that. Length is now nine, width is three. We did that right there. Perimeter, 24, area 27. So yeah, there's something else I want to show you guys. So. If I change this right here to private, okay, just for the two variables, and then public for these. Okay, and we try to run this program again, we will find that we shall get several errors. So um, these, we do not have permission to uh, see here, cannot access private member declared in class rectangle. So if we still want to set these, we're going to have to make two new um, um, uh, methods. So these are going to have to type void, because they're not going to return anything. Set width. And then this is going to take a parameter. So this is what you want to set it to. So let's make that um, double. Good. And then. Here we're going to have width equals w. Another one for length, set 
length, double length, length equals L. So now we can use these. We have to do this. Um, these we can't use. So unless we made one called uh, void view length and then return length. Um, but we're not going to make one, so we have to get rid of these because they won't work. But now I'm going to show you this. So perimeter. So to set the length, we have to do this. Um, R dot set length. And then we can we put what we want it to be, so three. And then R dot set width um, three. So um, that's sort of the disadvantage of putting that as private because it's sort of hard to work with. You have to write a lot more code. But there are some advantages because it prevents um, changing of these accidental cause, because you've programmed something wrong or whatever and so yeah that's basically classes um, I'll be teaching you a lot more about this further on because it's a very important topic but that's it for this tutorial I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you like this video please subscribe thanks for watching